Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are back with more Caves of Cud today, continuing our playthrough of this weird and wonderful game. If you're just tuning in for the first time, I've done three or four episodes and there's a link to that playlist down in the description. Also a link to the Steam page if you like what you see and you want to pick it up or put it on your wish list. It is supposed to be releasing from early access to full release sometime at the end of this year, but no hard dates just yet. But this is a really punishing roguelike. In fact, if you did tune in for the last episode, you'll note I'm in a different location. In fact, this is a different character. I died right away. I tried to restart that guy and jump right into him, start the recording, but I died immediately. So I was like, let's just tweak the character a little bit. So instead of uh, temporal fugue, we still have light manipulation, but I went with um, beguiling. So temporal fugue, you create a, a copy of yourself, right? And he fights with you for a limited time, but I realized it's not that good just because when you start the game, your character is not very powerful. So, you know, having a copy of yourself early isn't effective and it's temporary. So it eventually goes away. Beguiling is so much better because I'm pretty sure the creature that you beguile is permanent until he dies or you replace him and like this guy i just got super lucky i was exploring around here looking for more of that wire because we're back at the rust wells i went through joppa and got my inventory sorted kind of just picking up where we left off but with a different guy but this dude right now you can see it says the baboon oogles you lovingly so he is now my companion and will fight for me so yeah if we check out yeah you can see he's blue i guess the blue indicates that he's mine right but I honestly think this is going to be a lot better set up for us. So I've pretty much explored this map. Let's hit the auto explore and see if it takes us to anywhere we haven't seen yet. Okay, there's a, yep, that's it for this map. I picked up a little bit of wire, but not enough. So we have to move on to the next one. Let's just go to the world map. Now there is... Yeah, there's a staircase right over here. You can see the mini map is represented up here. It's pretty basic looking, but there is a staircase on the other side. We could go down. Let's let's head over here and we'll go down a level. I don't want to go. Whoa, what happened? Is it too deep? Okay, there we go. Sometimes swimming's not great, but we're okay here. There's no animals in the water. All right, yeah, if we go down, there might be some wire down here, and we can at least check the first level, right? I'm not saying we have to go straight to hell and back, but okay, so we start off with a kudzu right next to us. Did I hit him? Let's... Okay, now we burned him. Okay, okay. Our monkey is still good. As I recall, too, you can literally, like, equip your companions with weapons and stuff if they're the right type they can carry stuff i think so yeah i think beguiling is definitely the way to go here all right so you can see we're at the next level it shares a similar shape to the last one of course it's a rust well here let's move i should just use the auto it is fairly safe i've been trying it a little bit oh hold on we just passed some wire I thought I would make sure to pick up the wire, but it missed it. Okay, let's get that. How much? Ah, 50 feet. Okay, okay. So, it, obviously, it's more important that we survive here than we actually get this quest done. So, if we have to retreat to the surface, we will, you know. Now let's see. Can I hit that? No. There we go. Okay. Baboon, baboon is still with me. Oh, 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 we got a unique unit here. Well, something we haven't seen before. It's not actually a unique unit. It's a giant amoeba. Okay, let's hit this guy. I don't remember if they're very... I don't think they're super susceptible to light manipulation. Let's fall back. Yeah, we'll let our baboon get in on the fight, too. Let me look at this guy. Okay, he is injured. Okay, okay. Um, What do I have? I've forgotten... I do have a, a musket. Or no, I think I bought a really good weapon. Yeah, the Issachar rifle. I don't think it's like game breaking, but for starting off, I think this is better than the couple other options you usually see. So this was a lucky get. Let's take a shot with it. Oh, I killed her. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah, I'm not actually surprised because our... Agility, agility isn't super high with this character. Let's go to a sheet real quick. 
he's at 19 so i've put one attribute in there now if we get one more in there it will be a plus two so trying to level up the agility i'm pretty sure intelligence is maxed out right now other than like items which will increase it but anyway okay so we killed the slime boy i'm definitely going to be on the lookout to beguile another creature so let's auto explore my health is fine oh could you i definitely want to take out those wall things even if they're not really threatening me because it's going to be extra xp you know not a lot, but early on, you definitely want to level up as quickly and as easily. Hold on. Let's go back. Okay, these dogs here, whatever they are, what are you? Feral dog? Yeah, we can beguile this creature. So, switch the tab to, to beguile. Direction to the right. And he loves me. I think there's a chance to fail, especially as you try and beguile like more and more powerful creatures. But, something like that. Not that bad. Okay, so we got a replacement for the baboon. Ooh, cuts a... Hit that. Good. There's spider webs over there, bro. Why didn't you... He won't go through the spider webs, I guess. Uh, oh, look. Oh, no. Oh, we did it, and we leveled up, baby. That's huge. Let's go. Let's go level up real quick. Okay character sheet we've got skill points and three you know what i'm gonna wait um one more and we should be able to get a random mutation and i'll just save my skill points don't think there's anything any skills right now like during combat that would help us immensely but down the line we might want to get some cooking or something going okay i'm freaking stuck there we go i think there's can we shoot these no that sucks Okay, because I think there's still stuff behind here. Oh, there's like a corpse back here. See that splat? That's good. might have loot on it. At least we're clearing it this way. It doesn't hurt us. It just takes a while. All right, what is this? Um, dog corpse. Ugh. How much? How heavy is that? Um, we're pretty close to our total weight now. One twelve of one fifty. I would carry that and maybe butcher it, but we'll just, we'll drop it. Yeah, there it is. Don't need that right now. We got some basic food like jerky and stuff at the moment, but eventually you can just butcher up corpses you find and whoops, cook them up. Dog sounds delicious, doesn't it? All right, let's move. All right, time for, what? Oh, we're stuck by the web. Auto explore. Fairly safe. Fairly safe. I wish we could make the dog go ahead of us, but that's okay. <gasps> Kudzu. Alright, move in. Hang him out. Auto explore. Haven't found much in the way of cord or wire, have we? Ugh. It's good, though. Forces us to learn the game. Get better at combat. What the hell was that? I think a dog just got in a fight. Okay, so this level's just... Oh, there's a lot of them. Those bats aren't hostile to us, but they will fight the dogs. Oh, we got another slime here. Um, I'm going to hit it with the light manipulation until it gets close. Oh, God. Nice. Got it in three. Okay, let's keep going. And almost. Gosh, these things are everywhere. It's good though. Like I said, it's cheese it's cheap and easy XP, so. I feel like we've almost seen everything. What's left here, buddy? Doesn't seem to be anything else. Okay, so let's go back up to the top level. Oh, look, there's some more that I just noticed it hitting that. Yeah, there's wire right there that we missed i for, for some reason i keep thinking he'll pick it up during auto explore but i think he only does it if he happens to come across it so oh wait what wait we did come across this already am i not picking it up what the hell why aren't we auto picking that up that's weird i didn't change the settings i don't know so many little twerks and tweaks about this game you got to learn Alright, so I think we're good. Let's go up now, right? Wait, 
Wait, how do we go up? Yes. So we can auto walk there. It makes things a lot easier. There we go. Especially once you've already explored something. All right. So we're now on the surface. Let's go to the world map. And we're right here. I'm going to come to this rust well now. Uh, oh, we got lost. Oh, oh, crap. Let's see. I think sometimes you have to explore more slowly until we eat again oh crap let's eat let's eat i should have food here um wait can we cook i want to try messing with the cooking so i think i have some ingredients i don't know if i have enough but let's go to the skills and make camp okay you would you like to require yes yes wayfaring okay make camp Oh, I need to use it now, so we'll do... There it is. Make camp is two. Okay, we got a little fire going. Now... Whip up a meal. Okay, you gather fixings or roasted... You could just do, like, a generic meal. Okay. Nice. Now we feel sated. Good, good, good. So that was like just easy, quick, automatic. Didn't need the recipe or, or didn't need any ingredients. But there is a way to make recipes. It's probably in here somewhere. I have to experiment with it and figure it out. But yeah, we can cook up like more elaborate stuff. No doubt about it. Oh, we're lost. So we got to explore a bit more. Oh. Oh, um, we got something in front of us. Let's take a shot. Nice. Oh, my health. I got hit by a crit. Damn, that was not nice. Okay, we got him. We got him. Um, should we fall back? I need to just wait to heal up a little bit. I don't want to eat the witch wood. That's more for emergencies, you know, so let's fall back and just heal up a little bit. Okay, there we go. I just literally sat here and passed time until my health was back up. Okay. I don't think there's going to be any wire around here, but I'm still just kind of looking. Okay. Now can we leave? Damn, we're still lost. So we need to go down, I think, to this area. Oh, this is the rust well. This is our location, right? Okay. So now, how are we lost? This is literally where we just were. You recognize the area and stop being lost. Oh, okay, great. There you go. So you just got to see you need to move around a little bit. Okay, here we go. Somehow we got underground again. What the hell? Go up, up. Okay, over one, down one. That's all the one. Oh my God, we got lost again. <laughs> you got to be kidding. Uh, well, you can tell we're just very novice at like moving around and stuff. What is this thing? There's something weird over here. What is that? Hold on. Cannibal. Oh, yikes. That's probably the big threat. Let's move towards that. He's fighting some other stuff, though. Okay, I think he got killed. Something went off a big cloud of poison over here. My dog got in the fight. He's okay. Hello, sir. Can we talk with this guy? Oh, we're no longer lost. Yeah, I think you can talk to people and stuff. Iron Buckler, that's interesting. Let's explore this. I don't think there will be any wire here, but it's worth checking. Because we are pretty close to the Rust Wells. Literally right next door to them. Oh, oh, monkey or baboon. Just burn him. Nice. Need all that XP. Yeah, I honestly, I think if we just travel to the south from this map, we'll be at the rust well. Okay. I think that's everything. Yep, let's go down again. Let's try this. Uh, okay, explore. Let's see what this is. If it's just a small little narrow gap, then we probably need to jump back out to the world map. Huh. Okay, it looks like there's a little entrance here. This is weird. Oh, oh, we got another one of those things that almost killed me. Let's take a shot at him. Back up. Let our dog get in front. There you go. And we would hit our dog in that shot. So let's... Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. 
We're fine. We're fine. Burned him. Yeah, we got the bird. We got everything's just chilling. There's no hostiles yet. Okay, let's explore. Still haven't found any wire. Okay, that's enough. We've done that. Let's zoom out and please. Wait, is this the rust well? Oh my god, that's what that looks like now. Oh, we came at it from a different angle. A little confusing. Oh, oh, oh. we got stuck there. Nice. I'm going to be hitting all just so I don't miss any of the wires that he might not walk across. But so far, I haven't seen any. Okay. So reason he walked right past this kudzu over here, didn't he? That was odd. Hey, look at that. That was the one we needed, too. Oh, nice. Okay, so let's level up again. Character sheets. We got four mutation points, so we can buy a random mutation for four. Let's do it. Yes, and it will be a mental one because we're an Esper. All right, so we get a choice here. This is huge. Space time vortex, under space time, sending things. And of course, these are also from the same list at the beginning when you build your character. Okay, ego projection. You perform uncanny feats. Oh, this might be a good one. Teleport other might also be good too to help save our butt. Ooh, so it's going to be between these two, I think. Um, I think you perform uncanny physical feats. I think that we should do teleport other right now. We still might have a chance to pick up those other ones as we level up too, so they're not gone forever, anything like that. All right, now we got teleport other. Very cool, very cool. All right, and skill-wise, again, I'll just save what skill points we have till we need something, maybe. Oh, kudzu. All right, let's take it out. Easy XP, thank you. Oh, there's wire. Did he get it? Yeah, he did. Okay, he missed a kudzu, though, didn't he? I hear something fighting in the south. Let's go look for it. Oh, there's wire. Yeah, something got into a fight. Oh, uh, that was only three feet. I ah. think we're just about done with this map. Should we go down? Yeah, I think we go one, one or two layers down. Oh, there's still a bit more. Oh, kudzu. Oh, I love light manipulation. So good. Oh, the dog god will kill. Good job, Rover. You killed one. Oh. Okay, so we've done that now. We head to the stairs and we go down. Down, down, down. Uh oh, we got a little we got a green guy right next to us. Alright, let's explore. Ooh, kudzu. Ooh. Wait a second. Hold on. Let me look at that guy. Snapjaw scavenger. He's easy. We got to be considered. Wait, what did that say? Is he carrying a weird artifact? He's got a weird artifact equipped. That could be like a weapon or something. But um, yeah, we'll take him out. Obviously, I was thinking about beguiling him. But we'd have to replace our dog, which isn't a big deal. It's just there's probably better dudes out there. Let's see what he had. Oh, Oh, I already picked up the C. It's got auto loot for some things, but not others now, which is weird. But, all right, I don't need those ashes. Let's drop those. And this, we will examine. Now, of course, the exam the ability that we're going to use right here is because we're a tinkerer. So if you start off as like a gunslinger or something else, you won't just be able to examine artifacts to learn their purpose. You'll need to, like, take them to a, a vendor or something like that. But... Since we have that ability, we can literally just examine it and know what it is. It's a stun rod. Okay. Hmm. We could disassemble it. Uh, I think it's got... It, yeah, it's, see how it's a small trinket? So it's got a battery in it, but we haven't learned. Our character doesn't know what a battery is yet. So it just calls it a small trinket. 
But if we take that out, so replace cell, remove cell. Okay, now exit that. So we have, there it is, the small trinket. Now if we examine this, you identify the small trinket as a chem cell. And there's other kinds of cells. I think there's like nuclear cells and crazy stuff. So yeah, that's amazing. Okay, so now we've got a chem cell. Not gonna worry about recharging it with bits. It's low. I think what I'll probably do is disassemble. Now we also have an ability as a tinkerer that I unlocked using skill points, which whenever we disassemble something, we have a chance to learn its recipe. And that's what it's telling me right here. We now know how to make chem cells with bits with the right crafting materials all right and i'm going to do the same thing to well that's not what i wanted to do oh well hold on we'll figure that out in a second let's do the stun rod too i want to disassemble this all right there you go and we are retreat receiving tinkering tinkering bits we didn't learn that recipe though i think it's just a chance to learn it's not a guarantee but let me re-equip my torch real quick that was just an accident. Oh, what is on my right arm? There's a kudzu stem stuck in my right arm. Damn, that's wild. Didn't even realize that. Okay, left hand, half burnt torch. There we go. Let's go back to our inventory real quick. What is this kudzu stem? I think it's a, it's a food item. Stalker red celery <laughs> is flowered in a braided dust of centuries. Interesting description. All right, let's move on. We're making real good progress this time. It's what it takes. Slow, steady, and just learn from your past mistakes. I mean, I've already died, what, like two or three times now? We're just learning. Okay. Yes. Oh, there was some wire. Did we pick it up? I think we did. Yeah, it says it. We... There it is, three feet, is that right? Yeah, okay. Our dog is handling it. But yeah, there's definitely friendly fire, so you gotta watch that. Okay, let's keep exploring. Oh, another one. Oh, I don't have any more laze charges. We'll let our dog handle that one. Good job, pooch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We back? Yep. Alright, lace charges. That's what's great about light manipulation. You don't have to like sleep or anything to recharge it. It just love or it just recharges over time. And it's pretty amazing. I should be trying to practice with my rifle too. Okay, let's move in. And I'll fire shot at this guy. Missed him. Hit the wall next to it. Okay, I hit it that time. Hit it again. Nice. Alright, we're not as terrible as I thought. Uh, hold on. Ooh. All right, let me look at this guy right here. Equip gentling cone and iron longsword. What's a gentling cone? Cone. I'm going to back up. Yeah, come on at me. Oh, we burned him. Is that my dog? Friendly, easy for Yeah, beguiled. How'd you get in front of me like that? The hell? Okay. He's murdering stuff. Let's see. Pass by. Okay, I want to loot that corpse. The Jilted Lover dies. There's nothing to take. That's what those red ones are called. The Jilted Lovers. Did I pick up that stuff? My explosives. Uh, Why do I have this small stone? Yeah, I'm picking up small stones as I walk by them. What the hell? All right, there's got to be an option for that or something. All right, keep it auto exploring. Let's go. Nice. Uh oh. Trust me, there's other stuff down here in these dungeons than just these, and we just found something. All right. Oh, he's hit me. Oh, we got him. We got him. All right, we need to heal up, so let's just fall back and let time pass a little bit okay we're a little better let's let's go okay oh jilted lover and there's some cord right below it nice oh what did we get 
132 feet. Nice. We're close. We're getting closer. And we've leveled up quite a bit. I'm pretty happy with how this one's turned out so far. I think we're careful. We could probably pull off a couple of these quests. And level up. If you get to like level 10 as an Asper-ish. Again, I'm going off memory from years ago. But you can get to a point with Asper abilities where you just become godlike. You know, with these like teleports you can do and all kinds of craziness. Okay, there you go. And that's when um, Temporal Fugue becomes extremely powerful. Once you've leveled your character up. As opposed to Beguiling's always good. But Temporal Fugue is better late game. All right, let's keep exploring. Nice. Oh, what is that? There's some sort of beetle right there. I might want to... Oh, my capacity is too weak. That means I don't have any more ammo. Let's look at this thing. Beetle bum. Bonnet wings. Physical features. I kind of want to take this over. To get him instead of my dog, right? Hmm. Friendly, easy. What is this guy? He's average. Yeah, let's try and beguile him. He could go hostile. He could fail. Let's try this. Beguile. Nice, we did it. Now, is the dog hostile now? Hostile, yeah. So when you unbeguile or when you lose your beguile over creature, he does become hostile. Even if you think he was previously neutral or friendly. So, something to keep in mind. You will have to kill your previous companion. We'll let the beetle fight it out. I don't have any charges here. I'm getting murdered by my own dog now. Oh, crap. Beetle, are you going to do something here? Okay, I got a charge left, but I need to eat. Oh, that's crazy. Maybe I made a huge mistake, guys. Okay, that, that confused me, so. Oh, I think he killed it. Yeah, he killed it. That healed us up, too. So I'm just going to pass time until we snap out of our confusion here. Because we're safe. Okay, where's my beetle? Is he with me still? Oh my god, there's a bunch of these things. Uh, I'm just going to pass time. And oh, there he is. I was going to say, I think he died, but now he's back. He got critical hits on those. Nice job. All right, let's keep going. We got to find this cordage. I really want to get this quest done. But the good news is, since I reset, we do have that third rust well still to check. So it's very probable we'll find these this cordage pretty easily. Uh, I'm just going to kind of move around the kudzus. Oh, you know what? I should be firing that rifle. Damn it, I keep forgetting. Reload. Fire. Nice. I'm definitely not the most accurate here. Oh. Okay, reload. Fire! Right, I'm going to let the beetle take it. <laughs> Beetle's a powerhouse, I can tell already. Okay, oh, we take the kudzu stem. Good, that's for food. Now, what is this? Brackish sap. The liquids in this game, a lot of them are important. And we'll make it like um, honey is pretty valuable. Of course, water is like the number one currency. But whenever you find strange colored puddles like that, go stand in them or look at them to, you know, see what it is. And if you've got extra containers, which you probably will, you start off with empty containers like this. What did I just do? I don't want to... Oh, I'm canceling. Oh, okay. I'm closing those. But, um, yeah. So, you can fill up that stuff. You can collect it, you know. Come back to a location if you want. So, I'm pretty sure you can mark stuff. Okay. Why did I unequip the water skin? I'm still learning the... I don't even see him here. Oh, there it is. Right hands. That's fine. That's fine. Whatever. All right. Let's keep exploring. We've got to find this this wire. Okay, well, big battle here. We got lost on the way to the next rust well, and I encountered this turtle. And now my beetle and the turtle are battling it out. They've gone a couple of rounds. He's in fine condition. This guy's in fine condition. I'm not getting in this fight. Let's just let him fight. If the turtle wins, we'll beguile it. We'll take it as our new creature. It's like Pokemon, whoever wins here. We will take over. Look at him. 
This is an epic struggle between Beetle and Tortai. Come on, I kind of hope the tortoise wins, but either way, we come out the winner no matter what. Let's look at him. Little status update. Fine. Badly wounded. Uh oh, I take it all back, Beetle. I wanted you to win the whole time, sir. Look at that. He did it. Good job, Mr. Beetle. Let's talk. I wanna. I wanna look at him. Yeah, we can give him items and stuff. Hold on. Give him. What do I give him? Give him a grenade. Now I'll give him some vine wafers. Not that many. How many do I? Do? How do I do numbers? Five? There we go. Five. Okay. Offer. Trade complete. I think that'll give him food or something. I don't know. But, oh, look. He's got stuff on him. So, a uh, gentling cone. Wait, what the hell? It's just a hat. It's a piece of armor. He's carrying a bunch of ashes with him. A dog corpse. He's got an iron long sword. That's interesting. Look, he's got wire on him. Give me that. Yes, you offer that back to me, sir. Nice. Okay, well, that boosted us. Not quite enough to complete the quest, but we're getting there. We're very close, and we just got to get ourselves unlost here, and we can move on to the next Sunwells, or Rustwell, I mean. But um, either way, guys, that's going to do it for today's episode. But don't worry, I'm going to be uploading more of these, trying to get the swing of things here again with the Caves of Cut. So I hope you're enjoying it. If so, let me know down in the comments. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, everybody, and I will see you all on the next one.